Hello everyone, uh, I'm back here with another question. So um, in this question we are given a circuit um, and on, in option A we need to find the currents along the circuit that, that is depicted on the circuit. You see I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5. Um, in option B we need to find the uh, power supplied by the voltage sources that is V1 and V2 and in option C, we need to find the power dissipated by the resistors. That is, the power dissipated by R1, R2, and it goes up. So, um, if you want to try this question by yourself, you may pause the video now. And we'll start. So, um, in option A, you, you know that we're asked the uh, currents. So, what should we do? What comes to your mind first? Um, as you can see, we can think of the Kishoff, Kishoff's law, which is um, it has two laws, junction rule and loop equations, and we have to you know, uh, utilize the both of them. So as you can see, we have one, two, and three um, great, very beautiful equations, loops actually. The loops I am trying to show you here are these loops, okay? So, um, we start by writing the loop equations here. Um, on the first loop, as you can see, I start from here, then go here, and while going from here to here, you know, see, from let's just say point A to point B, um, we have I1 in the same direction as we are going, and we have R1, and that is equal to 4 ohms. So um, it has to come with a negative sign, with a minus sign. Here it comes. And from going point B to point C, you see that I2 is still in the di same direction as we are going, so it has to come with a minus sign again. So minus 3 I2. And you see that we are going from point C to point B, which um, the voltage source is in the same direction with our direction. So it is. It comes with a positive sign, plus sign. Uh, this is our first loop equation. The second, our second loop equation is, as you, let's just say this is point A. I'm still going in this direction, okay, in the um, clockwise direction. So here we we have nothing. Here while going from here, um, as you can see. Our voltage source is in the opposite direction as our direction, so it comes with a minus sign. Um, from points, let's just say from A, B, C, and D. From C to D, we see that we have a resistor that is um, whose current is in the same direction as we are going, so it comes with a minus sign again. That is minus two I three. Then points. Um, and D to A, we see that uh, the I1 current is in the opposite direction as our direction. So it has to come with a positive sign. So its voltage, its, um, its, yeah, its voltage is 4, 4 I1, that is equal to 0. So let's just say, uh, let's just examine the third um, loop equation. So A, B, C, D. From A to B, still nothing is there. Um, B to C, we still have I4 in the same direction, which um, the R4 2 ohms, so it has to come with a negative sign, minus sign. Then um, C to D, we have nothing again. Um, from D to A, we have 5, volt, five volts in our same, with our same direction, so with the same direction as we're going. And that makes plus 5 equals 0. So, um, what else should we do before you know, um, trying to calculate these whole uh, currents? So, um, remember the second law or the first law. It, it just doesn't matter the order. But, uh, you should just remember the junction rule and the loop equation. Junction rule states that when um, one current is going, or one current is, you know, um, going into separate ways. Uh, the sum of the separate ways has to be equal to the um, main path. 
So, let's just <coughs> think about here. We have I1 coming from this part, I3 coming from this part, and I2 coming out from this part. So, we can ju just write I2 equals I1 plus I3, and I4, um, I4, you know, it comes from here and then goes into two separate parts. So um, I5 plus I3 has to be equal to I4. <coughs> so, as you can see from here, we have I4 pretty clearly 2.5 amperes. Um, now, this part, the loop equations 1 and 2, are a bit, you know, uh, complicated. Not as much as you think, but we have to um, utilize this one. So, um, we see that we have I2 here and I1 here. Let's just, we see, we know that I2 equals I1 plus I3. And we see that I1 and I3 are here. So, I'm just going to substitute I2 with this, okay? Then, right, then we have 12 equals 7I1 plus 3I3. Then um, I'm just going to write this in a more simple fashion. I3 equals 5I1 minus 4I1 minus 5 halves. Then, um, you know, solving these two equations, you get I1 equals 1.5A, I3 equals 0.5A. I mean, amperes, A, those we know. Uh, we have I4, and as you see, we have I1 and I3 now from those equations. We can also get a value for I2, that is 2 amperes. And I5 is also apparent, that is, we, we know I4, what, is, what I4 is. We have I5, um, no, we don't have I5, we have, we have I3, then I5 becomes 2 amperes. So, option B. Um, we need to find the power supplied by the voltage sources. That is, uh, the power supplied by this device and this device, okay? Then, um, what shall we do? Remember that we have the formula for voltage, um, no, power, for voltage sources. That is, power equals voltage times current that is passing through that device. That is, that uh, voltage supplier. As you can see on the figure, we have um, current 5 going through this um, voltage supplier 2 and current 2 going through this voltage supplier 1. Then we synchronize power in, that is equal to this, and we find that power in equals to 40, 34 watts. What does, that, what does power in mean? So, um, they, that means that the power generated for the, that is coming in the system, that is going to the system. And P out, that is power out, means the um, energy, that is, the power that is <clears throat> getting out of the system, okay? And in option C, we're going to find that, as we are asked to find the um, power dissipated by the resistors, actually. Yeah. So, um, for the resistors, we have the power formula, I R squared, okay? Then we simply have, we simply need to, um, you know, uh, add up all the powers, all the resistors' powers. Then, um, if you, you know, calculate this, I'm not going to do it here too, um, we, we, acquire, we attain 34 watts as the, the power out. So, what comes in the system, as you can see in option B, goes out from the system, okay? So, um, this is Bora, and thank you for listening then.